Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your windshield wiper brakes in your vehicle. Now, in this case, we're gonna be using my Mustang, but don't worry, the process is very similar for most makes and models out there, if not almost identical. So after you're done watching this video, you'll know how to replace the wiper brakes in your vehicle. So just wanna show you real quick, the wiper brakes are located right at the base of the windshield wiper stalk. You can see actually the brake rotor right there, and the other wiper brake rotor is right there. And the reason why you can see them on my vehicle is because I took the dust boots off. It helps give it a little bit more airflow to cool them down. It's just like a performance mod. But on your vehicle, if it's stock, it probably has those dust boots so you won't be able to see them. Don't worry, they're there, trust me. You just have to take off this cowl, take off those dust boots, and you'll be able to get to them. Now, you know where the wiper brakes are, but how do you know if they're going bad? Well, in this case, there are three common symptoms. The first one, you can see clearly right here, the resting position is incorrect. So the wiper resting position is up on the windshield and that's not good. It's because the brakes aren't stopping it in the right spot. It should be down further resting right over here. Now, the second symptom of bad wiper brakes is if the wipers go too far. So the brakes aren't slowing the wipers down. You can see right there, it's hitting this A pillar, which is gonna damage the paint, which isn't good. So if your wipers are going too far like that, that means your wiper brakes are probably worn out. And the third and final common symptom of having bad wiper brakes is when you go to use your wipers and they go across the glass, they screech or they squeak. Most people think this is a bad wiper blade, but it's actually incorrect. It's the wiper brake pads, the little wear indicators on them, making noise to let you know they need to be replaced. Not every car has wiper brake pads with wear indicators, so sometimes they won't squeak, but it's just another common symptom to let you guys know you need wiper brakes. So, now you know all the common symptoms, let me show you how to replace the wiper brakes, and here are all the tools and products you're gonna need. Now, as always, we're using common hand tools. That way you guys could get this job done at home yourself, no problem at all. So if your mechanic is telling you, hey, wiper brake pads are really difficult to replace or they're really expensive to replace, run. He is lying to you, he's trying to scam you, and that's exactly why I'm making this video. So you guys could get this done yourself. Now, when you're replacing these brake pads yourself, you wanna make sure you get high-end windshield wiper brake pad sets. So this is a really good kit I got from NRS Brakes. They make high-end brake pad sets for vehicles so their wiper brakes are amazing as well. And as you can see, it says right there, it restores the wiper rest location, which is important because that's our problem. For this kit, I went with all season wiper brakes, which works in both the snow and the rain. And this kit is also a universal kit. As I said, almost all the wiper brake pads are the same for most makes and models. The only difference is gonna be on high-end cars that go really quickly, like supercars, Lambos, Ferraris, stuff like that. They use bigger brakes because they need more braking force to keep those wipers down at high speeds. You can also see it says it eliminates squeaking and it has a 30% longer life, which is good. That way you don't have to replace these all the time. Plus, as you can see right above the barcode, these are made in the good old United States of America, bringing back manufacturing and jobs to the United States, one wiper brake pad set at a time. So you can see why it's so important to go with a good brake pad set. And right here is everything that comes with one kit. And you need one kit for every wiper blade. So we have our brake caliper, we have our two brake pads, a brake rotor, and some brake hardware. We have springs, screws, nuts and bolts, stuff like that, that could easily get lost because they're so small. And that's everything you're gonna need. So those are all the tools and products. I'll be sure to include everything in the description so you could easily find it. Let's get our safety glasses on and let me show you how to replace the wiper brakes on your vehicle. And the first thing we need to do is we need to get under this cowl so that we could get to the brakes. So let's remove our wiper blades. And removing the blades is pretty simple. You just fold this blade up like that. And then at the base of the wiper blade, there is a button that you wanna push outwards like that. And you just grab the bottom of the wiper blade, you lift up and you give it a little wiggle and it should come right off. So same thing with the other wiper. Lift it up, press in that little button and wiggle it out. Good. Now let's remove the wiper shroud, and you want to be careful here to make sure you don't crack it. Well, that was damaged anyway, so we'll just install a new one. So let's just pop this one out, and check it out. Now we have access to our wiper brake assemblies, and our brake rotors look to be in pretty decent shape. A little worn, but not bad. The brake calipers look great, so we'll have to open this up and check the brake pads. And the same thing with the passenger side. You can see our brake rotor looks to be in pretty good shape here. Our brake caliper is in great shape. We're just gonna have to check those brake pads. But before we go and open anything up, you can see all this dirt and debris here. Let's clean that out because that's something that could get into the brakes and cause them to squeak. So we wanna make sure that is nice and clean. So I'm just using a brush to loosen up the dirt 
and then sucking it up with a vacuum. So with all the dirt and debris removed, and this all cleaned up, now let me show you how to replace the brake pads. First we need to get this wiper sprocket off, so get some locking pliers and clamp down, and then pry this off carefully. Good! And you can see there are splines here that spline to the shaft, so we need to remove this in order to get the brake rotor off. So with that removed, now we can remove these two screws here that hold this caliper together so we can get the pads and rotor off. But before we do that, when we unscrew this, there's gonna be small brake pads, screws, springs, all things that we could easily lose in the depths of our wiper area. So what I like to do is I like to get a towel and spread it out. That way, if anything drops, it drops into our towel and not into the abyss. Now let's unscrew these two bolts using a three millimeter Allen wrench. Now let's crack this bolt loose good and loosen it up the rest of the way and make sure we don't drop it and then we'll do the same exact thing for the other bolt loosen it up the rest of the way and there we go now the top of the caliper comes off and then next we have our brake pad which could come off and check it out you can see how worn down the brake pad is it barely has any pad material left and those black marks signify that this has been overheated so it's a good thing we're replacing it next we could take our brake rotor off that just slides right off like that and then we need to be very careful here. You can see there's a spring there and a spring there that's very small on these pins. We need to make sure we don't lose those. So I'm gonna take the spring off, take that other spring off, then we can remove the pin and remove that other pin. And now our second brake pad could come out. So out with the old worn out wiper brakes and in with the new ones. And look at that difference there. Now to install the new brake pads, first we have to put these locator pins in. Then we could slide our brake pad over those locator pins, making sure the pad material is facing up. Then we need to very carefully get these springs on the locator pins. Then we could add our brake rotor. And finally, we could add our second brake pad, making sure the pad material is facing down. Get on those locator pins, just like that. You can see the spring pushes these two brake pads apart. That way it doesn't have parasitic drag on these wiper arms. And now we'll get our caliper on. Beautiful. Then let's tighten down these two bolts by hand. Don't over tighten them. And then we need to torque these down to eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds, which is very important so these brake pads are secure. And one last thing to install is the wiper sprocket. So line up the splines and then lightly tap it into place. Good. So with our entire windshield wiper brake pad assembly completely done on this side, let's move over to the passenger side and do this one. So first let's clamp onto the wiper sprocket and pop this off. Then we could unscrew the bolts holding the caliper in. Ah, oh, wait a second, almost forgot the towel. And without the towel, you know for sure something would have dropped down there. Okay, now we could remove this bolt. Then we could loosen and remove the other bolt as well. And you could see the caliper hats coming off with it. Next, we could remove the brake pad, then the brake rotor, and then the two springs that are on the locator pins. And finally, let's slide the other worn brake pad off. So out with the old and in with the new. Then we could get the springs back on the pins. Good, get that rotor back on and then we could get the second pad on. And finally, let's get the caliper hat on and hand tighten both bolts to hold it in. Now we could torque down the bolts to spec. Good, and the last thing to do is line up the wiper sprocket and carefully tap it in so the splines mesh. Good. So now both the passenger side and the driver's side wiper brake assemblies have brand new brake pads in there. Let's go get our wiper cowl on there, get our wiper blades installed, and try it out. So out with the old and in with the new. And let's get this in place and carefully snap it in on the driver's side, like so. And then let's get the passenger side tucked in as well. And finally, let's install the wiper blades so we could test these out. And remember, these wiper blades need to be clocked in the correct position. We don't want them to be up like this. We want them to be down like that. So let's get this in place and try to line it up. And beautiful. Now we could do the other one as well, get this lined up. Perfect. All right, so the moment you guys have been waiting for, do the wiper blades work properly after replacing the wiper brakes? Perfect, that is exactly what we wanna see. Not only are they going up, they aren't touching the A pillar like they were in the past. Check this out. Perfect clearance, that is right on there. Those brakes are spot on. We're coming down to the correct resting position here as well, which is exactly what we want. So that is a job well done. As always, I hope this video was helpful. Oh, well, who's that? Check it out. What's going on, dude? I wasn't expecting you here. Perfect timing. How you doing, Chris? I've been out on the road in the US for a while, just finishing up the road trip, but my wiper blades aren't going down. All right, well, this is good timing because I just finished a video on how to fix this common problem. So I'll take care of that for you. But first, let me end my video here. 
So that's everything you need to know on how to replace wiper brakes. Now I need to go fix Shmi's car so we can finish up his American road trip safely. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends who don't know how to replace their wiper brakes. That way they could learn how. And as always, all the tools and products are linked down in the description so you could easily find it. Oh yeah, April Fools.